Ramon Monegal, perfumer and founder of Ramon Monegal Parfum, based in Barcelona, began his career with a strong passion for complicated and costly raw materials. He honed his skills through studies at the Barcelona Design Center and Assad in addition to his training in Paris. He created his first fragrance, Alida, in 1979, and he went on to serve as the creative director of Marujaya, creating successful scents for over 20 brands. In 2007, he left the Pooch Group to become an independent perfumer and pursue his dream of creating without limitations. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm thrilled to finally introduce you to the renowned house of Ramon Monegal Parfum on my channel. And what better way to kick off this exciting introduction than with their latest release, Hazy Rose, which was launched in the late of 2022. Hazy Rose was described by the house as a perfume that evokes the feeling of a wild rose as the sun rises. The scent is like the dew on its petals evaporating in the heat and creating an aura that moves with the morning breeze. It captures the unique scent of a rose as it wakes up and the feeling of approaching it guided by instinct to capture its essence. It captures the natural essence of a wild rose. When reviewing a fragrance, I don't rely solely on my sense of smell for that particular perfume. Instead, I pull out all my rose fragrances and compare them side by side to gain deeper understanding of the new scent's profile. This allows me to fully appreciate and distinguish the unique characteristic of the fragrance in question. To be quite frank with you, my experience with this beauty was quite different. She has a different impression of rose and profile on me, rather more of a seductive, gourmand, dusty, dark, gothic, and sexual aura, if you will. If the union of Faiza and Flamenco were to bear fruit from this house, it would undoubtedly be in the form of divine scent of Hazy Rose. This ethereal fragrance is harmonious blend of the boldness of Zaffron from Faiza the sweetness of roses, and the tangy notes of raspberry from flamenco creating a truly unique and alluring aroma. This is so sexy, you guys. I remember initially when I sprayed this, I was like, this is such a sexy rose. And um, also, it has such an interesting structure to it that kind of made me want to review this because it was so um, different as far as rose fragrances goes. And again, it was something that was not redundant. It was very unique. It was very mass pleasing at the same time. But it also had a, uh, or I should say it has a complexity to it, which kind of drew me to it. And that's why I wanted to talk about this with you guys. So uh, this one, what makes it so complex, it's its dual personality. Uh, what I mean with that, when it lingers around, it smells different than when you bring it up close. So Hazy Rose opens up with a big dose of jammy sweet rose and a big dose of saffron. Few minutes into the opening, you get facets of Indian ginger coming through like rays of morning sunshine. It gives the sweetness of the rose this tangy, zesty, spicy, fizzy top note with a pronounced fresh citrus facet and piney nuance. But when it lingers around, it has this mossy vibe to it. Uh, it gives this fragrance almost this like a smoldering aura to it, which makes it very sexy. Now, even though it's smoldering and kind of leans a little bit on the masculine side when it lingers around, but it's a very unisex type of a scent. And again, it has such an interesting structure because I would say it falls under the floral uh, category, but yet it feels almost like a chypre type of a fragrance that's uh, very modernized. So it doesn't have a vintage aura about it. It's very modern. Uh, it is very mass pleasing, but yet very complex. And it has almost this borderline gourmand vibe to it as well. Yeah, I can also smell the cashmere right away. The cashmere accord presents itself immediately, providing a strong woody and musky undertone. This creates a rich blend of spicy, fruity, chypre, balsamic, and vanilla notes in hazy rose, making the opening quite complex. The cashmere plays a prominent role in the fragrance, lending its diffusive, musky, spicy, powdery, 
velvety, aromatic, earthy, fruity, and slightly piney essence to the scent. It is a key component that gives depth and complexity to the overall perfume. After approximately 15 minutes, the sweetness of the scent subsides, allowing the saffron to take the center stage and delicately blend with the cashmere. The aroma of Virginia cedar wood then emerges, evoking the freshness of an autumn forest with dry woody, mildly incense woody, amber sweet, and subtle leathery woody undertones. This is such a refined rose, you guys. It's so well blended. Now, as the scent evolves, the rose takes on a more refined character, delicately interwining with the pink pepper. The pink pepper adds a fresh and spicy floral and herbal top note, with a delicate rosy nuance perfectly complementing the smoothness of the rose. At this point, the ginger is fading away quietly and opening pathways for leathery, dusty, and somewhat smoky nuances to take over. Now, as the scent reaches the dry down stage, Hazy Rose becomes woody, dusty, earthy, leathery, and musky with a warm, spicy amber undertone. The oak moss contributes earthy tones, a subtle hint of damp forest, but not as much as one would expect. The fragrance is not heavily green and aromatic. Instead, it has layers of muskiness, bark-like qualities, and leathery undertones. All right, the last thing I wanted to talk about is the role of Syme Benzoin and how much it affects the sweetness of this beautiful perfume. Syme Benzoin, also known as Siamese Benzoin, is a resin obtained from the bark of the Styrax tonkinonsis tree, native to Southeast Asia. It is used in perfumery as a fixative, which is a substance that helps to prolong the life of fragrance. Syme Benzoin is often used in perfumes with a woody oriental or amber base, and it can also also be used to soften and round out more harsh or pungent notes in a fragrance. So to me, the key notes in this fragrance are rose, saffron, cashmere, musk, and cyan benzoin. Now there's definitely some moss in here for sure, which I can definitely smell on the opening when it lingers around and a little bit in the dry down. But to me, this is definitely a very beautiful musky woody rose. All right, you guys, so that's all I have for Hazy Rose. Uh, I don't wanna get into longevity and all this stuff that I usually get into because I think I kind of went over that in my explanation of the fragrance, the way it evolves and its life cycle. Now, I can say that it's a very long lasting fragrance and if you read up on the reviews, you'll see that a lot of people talk about how it lasts for a very long time on your skin. Now personally on me, it does easily about 10 plus hours. Uh, but uh, again, uh, this one, it's a very unique type of a scent because first of all, very complex. It's very uh, sensual, very seductive. Uh, it's very smoldering, very sexy, and it's borderline gourmand as well. And I cannot imagine anyone not liking this scent. And that's it, you guys. That's all I have. Thank you so much. And hopefully I'll see you guys soon with another video. Bye.